Hello, my dear wanderers, and welcome to the wonderful World Kids Podcast. For many of us, this is the most irritating sound, which marks the beginning of our day and end of our dreamy sleep. Sleep is a biological requirement for human life alongside food, water and air. But why is sleep important? What makes us sleepy? And is your brain active when you are asleep? Let's find out in today's episode where we are talking about sleep. Think about all the things that you do during the day, like going to school, learning something new, talking with your friends or fighting with your siblings. These all things take up energy and they keep your brain very busy. Our brain controls our entire body. It makes us think and move. And it works really hard to make sense of all the things around us that we see, smell and hear. It helps you remember information like your own name, or how to add or subtract two numbers. And it also helps you learn new things, like riding a bicycle. But all this hard work makes our brain tired. So just like our body, our brain needs rest too. And the only time when it can get a little rest is when we are asleep. But why does our brain get only a little rest when we are asleep? Because when we are asleep, we are not doing anything else. That means no work for our brain. It should be completely still and do nothing, right? Well, it looks like our brain does nothing when we are asleep. But my dear wanderers, our brain is actually quite active when we are asleep. The level of brain activity is less for some duration of our sleep. But your brain is still working, even when you are asleep. And how do we know that? Because there are some special machines that can measure the activity of your brain. So, if you sleep with the electrodes of this machine connected to your head, the machine can generate a graph showing you how active your brain was when you were asleep. So, you see. We now know a lot about what our brain does when we sleep. While you sleep, your brain organizes the things that you learn during the day to help you remember them later. This process is particularly important for creating long-term memories, and it also helps us to clear out unrequired information stored in our brain. Sleep is also important for the growth of our body. Production of certain growth hormones increases significantly during sleep. Hormones is a fancy term for chemicals produced inside our body that act like messengers for different body parts. Sleep also keeps our immune system strong so that we can fight off germs if they enter our body. So far, we spoke about why sleep is important. But what is it that makes us sleep? Well, we all have an internal biological clock that regulates a 24-hour sleep and wake cycle. This clock is known as the circadian rhythm. The clocks in our houses typically work on electricity. But this internal clock in our body works on the light. So, during the day, when our brain senses the presence of light, it releases a hormone called cortisol. This hormone keeps us awake, up and going throughout the day. Then, as the sun sets and the night appears, our brain senses darkness and triggers the release of another hormone called melatonin, which makes us sleepy. The amount of sleep you need every day depends on your age. A newborn baby needs nearly 14 to 17 hours of sleep, whereas kids between the age of 6 to 13 
need nine to eleven hours of sleep each day. Our total sleep is made up of several rounds of sleep cycles. Not all sleep cycles are the same length, but on an average, they last about ninety minutes each. The first sleep cycle is often the shortest, while the later sleep cycles tend to be longer. Each of these sleep cycles is composed of four different stages. The first three stages of a sleep cycle consist of NREM sleep. NREM stands for non-rapid eye movement, whereas the last stage consists of REM, that is rapid eye movement sleep. Stage one of sleep is essentially the dozing off stage, and it normally lasts just one to five minutes. During this stage, body and brain activities start to slow down. After this stage comes stage two. During stage two, the body temperature drops, muscles relax, and breathing and heart rate slows down. Eye movement also stops during this stage. And next comes stage three. During stage three, we are in a state of deep sleep. During this stage, some components of our immune system start working hard, and that helps in the recovery of our body. And finally comes the most interesting stage of sleep, stage four, which is also known as the REM or rapid eye movement stage. In this stage, our eyes remain closed, but they keep moving rapidly. That is why it is known as the rapid eye movement stage. During REM sleep, brain activity picks up and it reaches almost the same level as when you are awake. And even though dreams can occur in any sleep stage, they are more likely in REM sleep, and they tend to be more intense. Also. During this stage, our body experiences muscle atonia. During atonia, several muscles in our body stop working, with a few exceptions such as eye muscles and muscles that control breathing. This ensures that we do not act out our dreams. Now let's see what happens if we do not get sufficient sleep. If you don't get the required amount of sleep. Then you feel tired throughout the day, and you also feel cranky and irritated all the time. Lack of sleep can make it harder for you to concentrate or solve problems. Sleep-deprived people find it difficult to learn new tasks, and they are less able to process new information or remember something they have already learned. So, if you want to do well in school or master a sport or a musical instrument. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that you get sufficient sleep every day. So, what can you do to make sure that you get good sleep? First of all, make sure that you do not watch TV or use a tablet or phone at least thirty minutes before bedtime. That's because the blue light from their screens can send a signal to your brain that it's daytime, even when it's night. And that makes it difficult for you to fall asleep. Having a good sleep routine helps you fall asleep quicker. That means you should do the same things every night before you go to bed. A sleep routine helps your body realize that it's time to go to sleep. A good routine might include listening to some soft music, reading a book, or taking a bath. Also. You should go to bed at almost the same time every night, and get up at the same time every morning. And this brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for listening. Please let us know your thoughts about our podcast. Our email address is wonderfulworld.kids at gmail dot com, and. Don't forget to send us your episode suggestions. In our next episode, we are talking about an ecosystem featured in the movie Finding Nemo. It is that dazzling, colorful place where Nemo lived with his father before he was captured.
So what are we talking about in our next episode? Tune in next time to find out. This was episode number 11 where we spoke about sleep. Thank you for listening. See you next week. And until then, keep on wondering.